Finally, we're going to get some information. Information could be classified under two categories, queries and reports. We're going to do queries first. And in all honesty, I never... Where is query? There it is. Query wizard. I don't use the wizard because it's one of those things that you have to click so many times to get the one thing. I click in Query Design because it's very much like the table. Create. So I'm going to do that one. Now, you can have an already existing query as input to this one. So like if it's too complicated, you can get out some data and then further refine it. I think I've used that maybe three times in the past 15 years, but it was sure valuable the day I needed it. So we're going to take a look at our sales. And we can get the fields that we want to show up three different ways. We can drag it. Now do I really need the Girl Scout ID or the customer number? No, I want to find out what kind of boxes of cookies each girl sold. So I can drag first name down to there. Or I can double click. Or I can come down here and do a drop down, get the next one. Personally, I vote for the double clicking. So I've now filled in my query form and um, somewhere, hmm, this run used to look sort of like a shoe and we said it isn't an exclamation point it's a shoe but now they've ruined it and made it into an exclamation point but let's run it and so we can see what each girl sold let's go back and see what we can do with modifying that first of all we could sort it by girl's name. Now in alphabetical order that's ascending. A is smaller than Z, believe it or not. And if I run it again, oh, I screwed up, didn't I? I have the first name of the customer. Duh. So, did she do that on purpose? Instead of meaning first name, I meant Girl Scout ID. So I could change that And so now I get it sorted by each Girl Scout's ID. This sort of looks unfriendly, I hope, to you. Because why? It doesn't have the Girl Scout's first name. It only has her ID. So I'm going to save that one. Yes. Instead of Query 1, I'm going to do it cookies sold by GSID. Something that helps you know what it did. Okay, to do this a little better we're going to have to do what's called a join so we can get data from two tables. So I'm going to create a query in design view. I'm going to use that table, and I'm going to use the Scouts table. Now close it. And what I've done is join these two tables. Where Girl Scout ID is the same as Girl Scout ID here, then I'm going to put in first name and then thanks a lot, lemonades, shortbreads, thin mints, peanut butter patties, caramel, delights. Let's sort it by her first name and run it. So what's happening, I have records 1 of 38.
if I go back to design view if I were to do something really odd like joining it on zip that would be incorrect so what we want to do is to take the value that's in Girl Scout ID find it in the second table and then pull out the stuff that belongs to it. Now let me show you what happens if you screw up and delete that. Or if these two aren't exactly the same name it can't figure it out. If I run it, now how many do I have? 304. We had seven or eight Girl Scouts so what it did was it made a set for everybody. We haven't I don't want to missing join, invalid join, but here's how you get it joined. And the reason I'm telling you this is it may be on a test if we have a test. You hold down your mouse on that one and you drag it over to the one that it corresponds to and hope it draws the line to the right spot and it did. So now when we run it again, we just have the cookies for Angie etc. So I can save that one. Yes, I'm going to call it cookies sold by scout name. Now let's suppose we just want to see Kendra's stuff. Have I got a deal for you? Down here under criteria, you can put Kendra. And then it just gives us hers. Whoops. Notice that it put her name in double quotes. Let's say we'd like to have everybody who sold more than five boxes of lemonades. So greater than five would be more than five boxes. I don't know if anybody did. Ooh, we did. We got a few people who sold more than five boxes of lemonades. So this gives you an idea of some of the things that you can do with a query. I'm not going to cover them all. I've got some previously existing videos out there. No. I don't want to save it that time because I don't want to limit it to that. I do have some videos from previous semesters. This part of Access has not changed at all. There may be some advanced features that I haven't even used. I've gotten along without them in the past 30 years. It's like I uh, didn't see any need for them. But I'm sure with the way people are looking at data these days it will become needed. So take a look at some of the other videos look for the keyword query and when you come back for the next video it will be how to do a report until then goodbye